My name's Josh, uh, I'm a photographer but I'm also a recruitment consultant uh, and I grew up in Beverly. I've always been into photography for years. Um, I started actually, I got a like a really small like Nikon camera which I thought was amazing but realistically I think it was very cheap but it was fun and I was like, um, I think I was like seven years old or something. I used to sit in my back garden taking pictures of all the birds. I know it's a bit weird, but I, uh, I used to be obsessed with like spring watch and like autumn watch all the time. So I used to take like all these real blurry pictures of like like wrens and stuff in my back garden thinking that they were mint and I'd used to like print them off. <laughs> um, but I stopped doing it for a while uh, when I was at school because I just started playing rugby and started trying to fit in. Um, and then uh, I actually, I moved to Newcastle for a bit and uh, I met some people up there and they're, they're a bunch of creatives and I've, I've never heard, well, obviously I'd heard of film photography before but I've never like thought about doing it um, and obviously we're in a digital age now so why would I do that but um, I, went, I went up to Newcastle and I met these guys that are like they're all like producers, DJs, creatives, um, stylists or whatever um, and they, uh, this, I met this one guy and he, uh, he, he basically brings out like these types of cameras, like point and shoot cameras. And um, he had like a little side bag. And I was sat with him at a house party one time and I just asked him what was in the bag. And he got it out and he was like, like this. And I was like, what kind of antique is that? And um, and he told me that he basically shoots film and he explained it all to me and stuff. And then he showed me the photos of how people come out because they do like raves and stuff. Um, so he just takes photos of people just like absolutely like having like the best time ever. And, uh, and they just look mint. I don't know what it is about like the, the sort of like film colour and everything that just comes out really, really well. Um, and then I came home and I was like, no one's doing that here, like hardly. I mean, I, obviously there are people shooting film here, but no one's like capturing like the youth culture in this area. Um, and I just thought, I, I go out a lot and I thought I might as well just take the camera with me and see what I can take. And then I just started doing it quite a lot and, uh, and, and I just started posting it. And then I, now we're here. <laughs> Retro East is literally just a page where I put all my photos. Like I, I, I never used to call myself like a photographer, um, and, uh, but my, I met my mate Brody uh, over at Dive, and he basically was like, "Do you have a camera?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "Do you take photos?" And I said, "Yeah." And he said, "Right, you're a photographer then." Um, so I mean, I, I was like, "All right, fair enough." So uh, I, it's basically just me taking photos and posting it on this page. I think I started it a year, just over a year ago. Um, so I haven't been doing it for long, but it feels like I've been doing it for ages. Um, and I love it, to be fair, because I, I don't really have any pressure on it. I just sort of like go out, take photos when I want to. If I see someone creative that's in the area, or someone that's cool, or you know, or whatever, I'll message them and be like, yo, do you want to do a shoot? And most of the time they're like, yeah, like, of course. And, uh, and then that's sort of it, yeah. But I've, I've been doing it for just over a year now. I mean a lot, because to be honest with you, it does really help me. Like I'm, I'm obsessed with like meeting new people. I love networking, I love going out and doing things. And that is actually just a tool I use to meet people. But then also the photos come out really cool. So it like, it's like Christmas every time I get the photos back. But um, I, I primarily use it to like meet new people because I just love spending time with people that are like, just mad and creative and cool um, and I find that this is like a really good sort of like way to introduce myself to, to creatives in the area and well not just even in the area just sort of like anywhere like I go sort of over to Manchester or Newcastle or whatever I mean I've taken some photos of my mates uh, one of my mates who's a rapper in, in Manchester um, and, and up in Newcastle and that and it's just it's just mint I get to meet so many cool people and if I didn't do this there'd be no reason for me to do that you know what I mean like unless I was like Unless I was just asking people to go out for a drink and stuff, which I could do, but like most of the time, if I don't know someone too well, I can use the excuse that like, yeah, you, you're a cool person, can I take photos of you? And then we'll go out for a drink afterwards, you know what I mean? And then it sort of like breaks the ice. Um, so I find that really, really cool. But um, what was the end of that question? Um, and how do you want it to progress how do over I want the next it, year? How do I want it to progress over the next year? Um, I just want to do loads more shoots, to be fair. I think what I've also been trying to do is I really want to start like, I did. I started a clothing brand um, in lockdown just because 
I was bored. I, I did my uni work, I used to get up, do my uni work, and then I'd have like a, nothing else to do. So like, I started like spray painting hoodies and stuff like that. And um, I still like, like I like fashion and clothing and all that type of stuff. And it'd be really cool to like somehow incorporate that with clothing. Um, so I know my, uh, one of my mates, Nick, over at Dive, um, he's let me like screen print t-shirts before and stuff like that, which I think is sick. Um, and he's, uh, he's he's been really on board with like trying to get like t-shirts done as well. So I mean they're they're pretty like they're pretty cool, but they're like really fairly like simple. It's just like my retro ESO go like on it. And um, but I was I was kind of hoping to get like t-shirts screen printed, um, potentially do photos of people at music shoots and things like that. But really I just do it as a hobby, um, and it will always stay a hobby. Because I feel like as soon as it stops becoming a hobby and I rely on it to make a living, that's when my creativity will, my creativity will sort of like dissipate. Or it might not do, but that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Um, so in terms of where it could progress to, I think I just want to keep taking photos of cool people. It might actually progress down south. Who knows? Um, you know, at the moment I'm just capturing northern youth culture because I feel like there's not a crazy amount of people doing that at the moment, especially not in this area. Um, but I haven't got any crazy plans as of right now. Come back to me. <laughs> I'll let you know. Uh, well, I mean, my whole family's creative. Um, my uh, my sister's like a she's an interior designer, and uh, she also does like artwork as well, digital artwork, freelancing, sort of like does commissions for people and stuff like that. She's always been really arty. Um, my dad was a car designer, um, and he's, a, he's he's now a, he's still a designer. Um, and sort of all my family were all like real, we're just like taking photos or like doing artwork or painting and just doing random creative stuff. Like I, I started making beats one time because uh, I'm really into like hip hop music, like rap music. And, uh, and I thought it was really, really cool. So I, I ended up making like a Loop Labs account and started like trying to make beats when I was like 13 years old. And I used to play them on a speaker after like at my parents, I was trying to get my parents to like tell me what they thought of it and stuff. And they're not even into like rap music and stuff, but they'd be sitting there like, yeah, this is really good, Josh. You'd be really, really good at this. Like there's me thinking I'm like the next Fred again or something. You know what I mean? but, um, but in terms of my creativity, um, my plan is to basically just keep it as a hobby so I can keep, you know, I just like creative things. Like um, at the moment it is just photography. Uh, I don't sort of do any painting or anything like that, but I do like sketching and things like that. But um, I don't have any plans right now. I'd love to give you some, um, but it is just to use my photography to get really cool photos and meet really cool people really. That is my plan as of right now. Uh, well, like I mentioned earlier, networking is massive to me. Um, even if I wasn't doing photography, I'm trying to do, even in my professional career, I'm trying to network as much as possible. Because I feel like there's power in knowing people. Like, if you're not putting yourself out there to meet people, like, I, I believe for myself, I won't be able to get as far as if I, if I didn't have people around me to support me and help me, you know what I mean? You can't live life, like, alone. Um, well, I can't anyway. I don't know anyone else can, but um, but yeah, networking is massive to me. Um, you know, I mean, especially with this, because in a sense, if you're like doing photo shoots with, with loads of different people and stuff like that, that's networking. You know, you're meeting new people all the time. So, I mean, it's incredibly important for what I do. Uh, and then uh, social media. I mean, social media is the prime place where I put all of my stuff. So, if I didn't have social media, I don't really know what I'd do. Like, I don't know, set like an email list and send it all out to people. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I mean. I did an exhibition as well, so I did um, an exhibition at Dive, um, and that helped get people that regularly come into Dive to see all my work, um, you know, who might not have heard of me beforehand, or you know, might have heard of me beforehand, but not ever thought of, to look me up on social media or something, you know. Um, so that was really cool. So I like doing events as well. So actually, to, to answer the earlier question, um, doing events would be a good one. Uh, to, that's my plan: is to do more exhibitions and also do T-shirts and things like that. Mm. I think that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, social media is really, really important for that because I obviously put all my photos on Instagram and hopefully people like it and share it and stuff like that. And uh, I, I try and do that as much as possible. I've started doing TikTok as well because like everyone's sort of like getting on this TikTok wave and I feel like I'm missing out. I feel like I, cause it's so easy for me because like all I need to do is I've got the photos there. So all I need to do is literally just like put the photos up on a video. It takes like two minutes, put a song on it and then just post it. Um, I think sometimes with TikTok, like the ones this isn't for everybody, but sometimes like I see videos on my feet that like you cl someone's clearly put like two minutes of work into, and then they go viral and things like that. And it's just like I um, I don't like to spend too long on it because I 
I think I just get lost in, in TikTok. I feel like I, I give myself a curfew. I only look at it for like an hour a day. Um, but yeah, so I mean, hopefully at one point, you know, one of my videos gets a load of views. Maybe I'll get more followers on Instagram and maybe more opportunities come from that, you know. I've, I also just message people on Instagram. Like, I, I really like this brand, uh, MKI Miyuki Zoku. Um, uh, they're Leeds based. And um, I go over to the store in the corn exchange quite a lot. And um, I'm trying to, at the moment, I'm trying to get um, taken photos for them. So I've been messaging the, the owner, but he's not ready yet. But we keep trying, you know what I mean? Um, and then, uh, and, and yeah, so I'm just trying to like get involved with, with, with like fashion as well. So like Jack from Cheap Life, shout out Jack, um, legend. Uh, I really want to get taking photos for Cheap Life as well because I want to support local people. You know, if I can take, you know, photos for my page, you know, hopefully I can help him out in, I mean, he doesn't need it, but I, I'm really cool to collab. Um, I take photos of his cool cool products, you know what I mean? And, uh, and support people in the area. So um, in a long-winded way, networking and social media is incredibly important. I don't really tend to have a lot of regrets about things. Um, I do think sometimes I probably could have done something a bit better, but um, I try not to regret things because it's not very good for your mental health. But <laughs> um, I think maybe not starting to take film photos earlier, um, which is probably a pretty standard answer for most people. But, you know, I wish I'd have started it when I was at uni. Because I feel like, you know, I went to so many cool events when I was at uni. I met so many cool people when I was at uni that, you know, I might not see again. And, uh, and, and it, was, it would have been a really cool opportunity to take photos out at those events. Um, but then at the same time, you know, things happen for a reason. I must have started it. And I think, you know, if I was in York or I, was, I went to uni in York, um, I think if I just took photos of a load of students in York, it probably wouldn't have had the same effect as, you know, I'm, I've met really cool people in Hull. And, and well, really cool people over in Manchester and Newcastle and all those places in the north, you know. And um, I think, you know, like I said earlier, things happen for a reason. It clearly happened at the right time, but I don't necessarily have any regrets. Um, there's definitely things that I want to do, like buy better cameras, because um, like, I've got some really old bangers. Like this, I got this for like 40 quid. The lens is sort of like wobbling off it, but the photos that come off this are insane. And then I got gifted this. Um, but I, uh, I was I was working in in town and uh, and I, I just started talking to this old guy. He was proper nice, and um, and he had like a load of film cameras. And he doesn't use them anymore. So I was like, I was sort of like edging and just asking him about like the cameras he had and stuff. And he was like, actually, do you know what? I don't use them. Like, do you want them? And I was like, uh, I mean, only if you don't want them. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and he, came, he turned up about a week later with like a full bag of cameras and he let me choose one. It was like. Felt like it was Christmas, um, but yeah, these cameras are only like, you know, they're not mad, but um, the photos that come off them are, ah, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I think that was, I don't have any other regrets. <laughs> uh, I definitely think that the city's lacking, um, but to be fair, I mean, it's a smaller city than than like Manchester and and Newcastle and Liverpool and other cities in, in the north, but just in the UK. Um, but I mean, my personal sort of experience is that there is actually quite a lot of creatives here, um, but there isn't a lot of, I think in a lot of other cities, you've got like a lot of like Instagram famous creatives or like just social media famous creatives in general. Whereas there's not a lot of people from this area that I know about that stay in this area that are actually like, you know, really well known for their talents. Um, and I don't think it's because there isn't people that are talented. I think there's a lot of people that are talented here. Um, I, just, I just think as soon as people get some sort of level of um, notoriety with their work, I think a lot of the time they'll move to other cities because there's more opportunities there. Um, I think we need to somehow stop that. But then it's like, you know, if you're a creative and there's more opportunities for you somewhere else, of course you're gonna go do that, you know? And I, I think from what I know and the people I know in the area, um, you know, there is a lot of creators, but there's not a lot of support. There's not like, I don't know any type of groups or any, any people here that would, um, I mean, I know a lot of people that would support me. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people on, on uh, at Dive, you know, and, and other places in the area that, that I've become friends with that will support me in terms of like, you know, 
sharing my stuff on social media and things like that, but I think to actually get real support. I mean, there's a, there's actually a photographer called Jason Shipley um, in Hull, and he's mad. The guy the guy has taught me a lot about cameras. Um, he actually did I, when I first started taking film for photo, like film photos. Um, I didn't save my negatives, so like I was just taking the photos, and then I was getting like Kodak to just email me the photos. And then that was it. I was like, well, I've got them on my phone. I don't need them. You know what I mean? And uh, and he, he was uh, he was quite annoyed at me. And he was like, Josh, you're an idiot. Because you know, what if someone said, comes over to you and says, look, I want that print, but I want it at, like A1 size, and uh, and you've got a really rubbish uh, quality photo on your phone. How are you going to get that done? And I was like. I don't know. And he said, yeah, you need your negatives. So I've now started um, sort of keeping those. But, you know, they, we need more people like Jason and, um, you know, who actually understand. I mean, he's a photographer. He's been a photographer his whole life. He's amazing at what he does. And I've been so lucky to meet him so that he can teach me a lot about film cameras that I didn't know. And um, I definitely think, I think there needs to be a lot more like people in the area than mentor people. Um, but I've just been lucky to meet him. Uh, you know, I've been lucky to meet Nick and Brody over at Dive. They gave me a chance to actually take photos, and and they actually my first paid shoot I ever did was with them, and you know that's like one of the coolest places to go in the city, as far as I'm concerned. And um, you know, there's some of the coolest people I know in this area regularly go to that place, and you know, I I got a lot of support from them. Um, in terms of you know letting me be creative and letting me just because sometimes when you're taking photos of people like it is a bit like a, slightly aggressive in it like you're just coming up to people and just taking a photo and like you don't know how they're going to act so like a lot of the time I like to like get permission off people before I take a photo because obviously you know I wouldn't like someone to just randomly come up to me and just shoot a picture at me you know what I mean um, and uh, and but everyone there is so like supportive like I've I've asked permission to take photos by so many people and I've actually had people to say look stop like don't ask me it's fine you know what I mean um, so I really like the, the amount of support I get for being uh, for doing what I do here but in a long-winded answer I, I think there isn't a lot of support but there is also a lot of people that do support you but there needs to be more I think one of the I think what I'm most proud of um, is just having the confidence to just go up to people and ask them if I can take photos of them, I'm not going to lie. Because like, um, it took me a while to, to get the confidence to be able to do that. Because I, do I don't like being rude to people. And I don't like just, you know, people minding their own business. I wouldn't know how I'd act. Well, I, I'd know how I'd act if someone came up to me and was like, can I take a photo? I'd be like, yeah, of course. Like, you know, do your thing. But um, I'm definitely proud of the fact that, like, I've started to become a lot more confident in, in sort of just meeting people I don't know and just sort of putting myself out there to take photos of people because um, it can be quite like scary because you don't know who you like you don't know how they're going to react and uh, I don't like getting too much into people's my personal space and stuff like that I don't know um, but I don't really have any like singular achievements other than I actually no I've got one I've forgotten I have got one um, I had a photo exhibition like I mentioned earlier um, at Dive and I was, I think that's probably my, my biggest achievement. Just, just the fact that I got all of these people in this one room, like just having a really good time around all the photos that I've taken at that point. You know, got 300 of my photos at A4 size, just stuck them all over the walls. And, and I got my family over, like I got like my girlfriend's family over, um, you know, my friends and their, some of their family, you know, and everybody just got together and just like had a really good time. And, you know, just being able to, to do that was amazing. Like I think about it all the time, and it was like one of the best nights ever. And you know, having all the people that you love in your life, and just—I mean, it was really nice because um, my parents were there, and I always like—it it was nice to see them like proud of me. You know, even if it's just me taking photos of people. You know, you know, just the fact that this whole event I managed to like—I mean, with a lot of support, like do. Um, you know, made me feel really good. So I'd say that was probably my biggest achievement. Uh, well, in terms of Retro East, um, hopefully doing another exhibition, that would be really cool. Um, you know, because I've got loads more photos I want to show. Um, hopefully with a lot more photo shoots. What I've started to do now is like, I started taking photos just on nights out, um, but I'm really, I'm actually trying to use the space a lot more to take 
do actual photo shoots with creatives in the area. So I'm hopefully, um, you know, in a year's time, I'll have a lot more like actual photo shoots with people that I've taken like in the daytime, you know, with actual creatives and well, it doesn't even have to be creative, just like cool, cool people. Um, so, I mean, in a year's time, another exhibition, hopefully some t-shirts done. Um, you know, hopefully uh, I've done a photo shoot for, you know, Cheap Life, I really want to do that. Um, and, you know, hopefully maybe take some photos for, you know, MKL or something. I really want to just take photos for brands as well. I definitely like, I, I think that that would be so sick. You know, taking photos and actually collabing with people, that's what I want to do the most. So as long as in a year's time I've collabed with a load, a load of people, that's, that'll make me happy. You know, um, you know I, I like mixing um, my love for meeting people and my love for clothes and my love for photography all together. If I can do that, that'd be great. So yeah, that's really it. Just do it. Like I, I literally, I, I mean, I don't have any like crazy training in photography or anything like that. Like anyone can pick up a camera, you know. Um, my advice is just, I mean, it's such a cliche thing to say, but like if you if you enjoy it and you think you you could do really well at it and you just like it as a hobby, just do it. Like it's such a simple advice, but it works. Like I just, I put off taking photos when I should have just been taking them because I, I knew I would have enjoyed it and I, you know, I wish I started doing it earlier. But um, in, terms of, in terms of more advice, I think probably just try and network with other photographers because what helped me the most was meeting Jason. And he told me so much about photography that I would never have known. You know, I mean, obviously you've got the internet, like you can find it all out from there. And I have learned a lot from, from YouTube videos and things like that, but um, network as much as possible meet as many photographers as you can and um, also just like practice um, you know as again a bit of a cliche thing to say but practice is, makes perfect you know like with with film photography as well like you take a photo and you don't know how it's going to come out so it's just trial and error um, and you know just practice meet the right people you know network um, and, and you'll smash it I mean anyone could anyone with anyone can do well at photography really if you've just got the want to do it you'll be good at it you know what I mean it's not like it's not like I don't know like singing like you you kind of you've got a good voice or you don't you know what I mean whereas like with photography you can do so many things with it uh, it's just like painting and things like that everyone's got a different style of painting and stuff like that I think like um, just practice and do what you like I guess actually to be fair like I do everything off the cuff, like I'll randomly just like book to do uh, a shoot with someone. Um, I don't have like set plans to do really, um, like I don't have like an event coming up. I will do, um, hopefully we could have one set up, um, which would be cool, but, um, but no, I think, you know, what I'd like to promote the most is just like the whole, like, I like it sounds cringy, but I really love this area, um, you know, I, I really like the people here. And I definitely think like if if you're a creative in this area, just reach out to other creatives in this area because the only way that we're going to be able to like make this a more supportive space for people that like to do anything creative is by networking and, and talking to people. So if anybody wants any anything, I mean, I don't. I, I'd like to think I give good, good advice, but I've not been doing this for a crazy amount of time. But like, if anyone wants to speak to me or message me or anything about you know what I do or mistakes I've made or anything like that, like. I would hope they wouldn't hesitate to message me. You know, I've had people message me quite a lot saying, how do I get this effect or how do I do that or whatever. Um, but the only thing I'd like to promote is just like, speak to people in network, you know what I mean? And uh, just do what you like. That's it. Yeah.